Hi, scientist, Miss Bobby. I'm going to be showing you two different ways that demonstrate how important soap is in what, when you wash your hands and how it can protect you against coronavirus and all kinds of bacteria and other kinds of germs. Today, I'm going to be using two different models. You know what a model is. A model is something that scientists and engineers use when you can't exactly see the thing because it's either too big or too small or it's too early in its invention to really know what it's going to look like. So scientists use models to give you a sense of how things work. So I'm going to be showing you two different models of how soap is protective and interacts with coronavirus particles. I hope you enjoy it. Scientists, Miss Bobby here. I'm gonna do a demonstration for you about why soap is so important when you are cleaning your hands to get rid of coronavirus. First, I'm gonna put some ground pepper in this water. We're gonna pretend that these little dots of pepper represent the coronavirus particle. So let me take my finger. This is what happens when you get exposed to the virus. Oh, virus particles are somewhere and they got in you or on you. So how can you deal with that? The best solution, of course, is to wash your hands. And here, in here, is dish soap. So I'm gonna put some dish soap on my finger. And then let's see what happens when the dish soap comes in contact with the coronavirus particles. They go away. Amazing, isn't it? How soap is such a great protector for you, and look, no virus particles there. Hello, scientists, Miss Bobby here. We're going to model what happens when soap mixes with coronavirus particles. This is a model of a soap molecule. It has a hydrophilic end or water loving. It has a hydro phobic end or water fearing. This end would be attracted to things that have oil in them. This to things that are only water. So here we go. Here's our, here's our virus particle right here. Let's see what end is it attracted to. Oh, it's attracted to the hydrophobic end. Here, let's try it again. Yes, definitely attracted to the hydrophobic end. And again, and again. So a model is something that you use when you can't actually see the thing you're trying to talk about. Remember, soap particles are so small, we can't see them with our bare eyes, but we can use something else that kind of acts like it, like a model. So these magnets are acting like the model of a soap molecule. So just remember scientists, soap is your friend when it comes to keeping your hands clean. Thank you for listening.